Alright guys, welcome to Minecraft. Today we are doing some redstone tutorials. Here we have our key. Basically this is the default power, so it's kind of like an imaginary block. It's just the power where um, A of the redstone we have a there, over there that a uh, glass pow block obviously can't power. This is the default ground. This is the default place block, so if we have redstone top, that's the default block we're using to put it on. Um, and then we have the effects unaffected, which are the two most important things out of this. This will show what the redstone, say a torch, will affect around it. And this is will what, and this shows what affects the torch itself, not what it's affecting pretty simple everything in redstone has to do with whether it's on off or on redstone torches default are on um, and redstone wire is default off and that defaults on with a torch next to it which is also default on obviously anyway on to the video all right here we are, we got your off power and your on power. I have a redstone torch under this, just to show how it looks, whether it's off or on. Um, basically how redstone works. Everything in redstone works on, off, and on power. If it's off, that's like a separate type of information. If it's on, it's another type of information, for example, Lamps will be on if the redstone's on. Lamps will be off if the redstone's off. So two different things. It's how every computer works by a series of circuits that are either off or on in certain patterns in certain ways. That's how gate works. That's how everything in redstone computers in real life. That's how the first computers in the world worked, really. A bunch of things that were off, swi basically switches that were off or on, and determined whether something was doing sun or not, really. And that's really all redstone is. It's the simplest thing in the world, but a lot of people don't get because, well, it's at the same time simple but complex because off and on can only do so much until you need it to remember sun being off or on. And We'll get into that in future episodes. Basically, I'm Bester Chen. I'm doing a Redstone Bare Bone Basics episode slash series. Pretty much we're going to start out with um, torches and redstone. So these two things will be what we're going over to today. Or going over today. So pretty much how torches work is they will affect all these glass blocks. Say you put a redstone lamp here, it'll affect it, it'll turn it on. Say um, you put TNT there, same thing, it'll go off. However, it won't affect down here, which is why there's no glass there. So anything that's glass is what the torch affects. Then how you turn the torch off, because again, everything works with off and on. Off, on. You got the idea. So basically, if you want the torch to be turned off, all you got to do is send power in one of these spaces to the quartz block now turn the torch off so for example we'll just put a quartz block there with another um, redstone torch there and we will send power to it like this just through this already powered one and it turns off simple as that on off all you need is power going in this block to here, that block to this block. It's pretty simple. Everything's off and on. 
biggest thing to remember when you're doing any redstone device or whatnot is whether the redstone is off or on even the most complex people will be like well not complex people comps complex redstone artists is what I like to call it even they will just be like messing around with an adventure or something and they'll turn it on just to see if it's working and they'll forget the redstone torches there so they won't realize that something's on messing with the circuits making everything backwards because that's what an on pal will do it'll reverse the signal or why I like to call waves. I like to call redstone signals waves. Sounds more cool and sounds more catchy. I just like it that way. Kill me. <laughs> um, anyway, on to redstone. Redstone affects everything in this area S uh, where the glass is. So we power that. And anything where the glass is, not there. But like there. And there turns on that does not because outside the glass area up here turns on there there does not because it's not in this radius of power or wave so fix that get rid of that next okay now here's where the area that the redstone can be affected by and pretty much if you put power to any of these blocks then that redstone will be powered so for example this block is that block so you put power to that block space and it powers that and again that will power these pretty simple next do, do. all right everything's good next we have oop drop my glass next we have lines lines and dots are completely different redstone wires basically dots power everything around them lines only power the single ends so I've got an example over here. Again, pretend that this is just another piece of glass. Only right here, this is just to make the redstone wire straight. Otherwise, it'd be a dot if it wasn't being powered. So basically, how redstone lines work is it'll not send power to there or there because it's in a line. And it doesn't just matter with lamps, it matters with any um, redstone device or things affected by redstone. So you might be like, oh, put TNT there, it'll work. Nope, it won't work. See that? This will not power anything to those sides. It will power where this block is, it will power where all the glass is. And um, whatchamacallit, right here is where you can affect it again the redstone block is included in what affects it so imagine that's just uh, another piece of ice and it's kind of like how redstone's affected from all sides this is affected from all sides it's not much different just uh, mostly a different effect not affected area okay next is there are two just like there are two different types of things for redstone wire there are two different types of redstone lamps so you got your straight up and down lamps and you got these ones that you can just put on the side anywhere like you would put a mine torch only these are redstone torches you have your on state and your off state on off pretty simple so how this works is anything in front in this cross shaped pattern again just like over here only on the side will be affected any of these blocks will be powered example pretty simple all of them are powered 
replace that glass again. Do do do. And next, then this is like kind of straight down the middle, and basically everything in the back is affected. Put power to anything here, and it'll turn that off. So, like you put, doop, doop, doop. you put a torch here, it'll turn it off, just like we have over here. It's affected by. That block is affected by the block space here being powered or on. When, it get, when that power is going directly into this block, which turns this torch on. So power on, power off. Again, everything works by off and on. And this is just how you control whether it's off and on. That's how all circuitry works controlling the off and on signal and where that signal is going to and whether it should be off and on by the direction so hopping right into direction again this is like the straightaways let me just change the time again these will not be powered if this is powered so again we do the risky TNT test, but it's not really actually risky because we know it's not going to blow up. You can power these areas all day long, they're not going to blow up. You can put TNT on top, it's not going to matter. If it's not in one of those glass spots that I've showed you, it's not going to affect any of the power around it. It's only in these spots here that it sends power to. Same with here, etc. etc. You get the idea. Power on, power off, da 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 da. You've heard me say this a thousand times already, right, maybe. By the end of this episode, maybe. We'll see. But I'm trying not to make it too long. So, here, basically, it's the same dealio. Everything around it is affected because it's wire. And that's just. Um, again, like I put underneath because it's simple to power it like that and then off. So really that's how, that's pretty much everything as far as wire, redstone wire and redstone torches goes. That's really everything and you can make all kinds of fun things like Um, just redstone towers. So, do do you saying a signal upward because you want someone to be turned on on a different level? Well, that all depends on what's off and what's on. So, because this is on, this is off, which tends which makes sure this is on because this block is not being powered. Again, that's not being affected by sun under it until you turn that on, that affects that block, which affects that torch. Simple as that. Torch works and redstone works by the block they're on top of. But that's the bare bone basics for any of you who just can't wrap your head around how redstone works. It's not too hard to understand. You just gotta kind of figure it out. This is kind of Redstone for dummies, I would say. Anybody who really just has had people explain it and explain it and explain it, and they just can't figure it out. This is how it works. It works off and on, whether it's off or whether it's on. And I'm Bester Chen. Like, favorite, subscribe. This is the end of my episode. Keep track for more. Again, like, subscribe, favorite, all that jazz. I'll see you later. Have a good day.